my god. Okay, hey everyone. Sage is here. Hi. Hey, how you doing? Okay, so, um, this is going to be really awkward because I was looking at the votes earlier and it's changed a bit, but I cut off the date at right now. <sighs> and we are basically in what can only be considered a deadlock at this moment. Um, so, last I looked, now of course it's changed, I mean there's three more votes now, but uh, when I looked, <sighs> C and D were tied, with Q only two votes behind. And now, we are at 61 votes for D, 80, 50, 58 votes for, uh, for Q, and 56 votes for C. So, and that was just in the span of the minute I was talking, pretty much. So, honestly, um, this is a really difficult choice. I really, really want to go and see what C is all about, because we have not been spending very much time with C, honestly. Um, and Q barely has anything here, but I think this is just the decontamination thing, honestly. You know what, let's, let's queue up, let's do, let's do it like this, okay? We're gonna do, since this is such a deadlock here, we're gonna do one thing from Q, we're gonna do the decontamination chamber here in Q, and then we're gonna do it in D, and then we're gonna go and do one of C's fragments. This way, we can eliminate some of the things that are, you know, since everyone seems to want to go everywhere, we'll do this, okay? Sound good? And that way, I, I want to get a little bit more of C done now that I think about it anyways, so let's do that. So let's start off with Q's decontamination chamber and see what happens. First come, first saved. Q. Oh, man. Well, we kind of already know what's going to happen Let us out! Let us out of here! How also, this is the last fragment of Q, anyways, that we have unlocked. Bang all you want, it won't open. <sighs> Damn it. Just take a second, calm down. We need cool heads. Hey! What the hell are you doing? I'm sorry. Do you know what that button does? Well, no, but maybe the door opens with it. I... I really wasn't going to push it, though. <sighs> Kids are a pain. Oh, we Eric. could have a very good point. We haven't heard anything from Zero. Just sitting around here is useless. Maybe just one tiny push? Hey, Mira! Just kidding. I'm not that reckless. <sighs> don't scare me like that. But we really don't know much at all. We may be at the point of crazy decisions. The only thing we know for sure is what time it is. 18.08. It must have been around 13.30 when we fell asleep in the lounge. So, uh... Four and a half hours? Wow, you calculated that fast. And at your age, even. <laughs> was it good? I was just about to say the same thing. No, you weren't. Seems you still have that problem with numbers, Eric. I recall you having trouble calculating change when we first met. Oh. Hey, come on now. Is that how you two met? I want to hear, I want to hear. Aww. <laughs> yeah? My face has got to be all red. I still remember every detail. The fateful encounter was on a Monday. The sky that morning in Nebraska was full of thick clouds. Oh, you're from Nebraska. Oh, the gloom okay. cleared in an instant, like a miracle. That that makes sense. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. If you're from Nebraska and watching I this, up my best smile your state is mildly show. enjoyable. Even the boring regulars I was tired of seeing. I still offered the most delicious ice cream to them. I was getting sick of it, though. Oh, now, don't think it was my work I was unsatisfied with. I really, truly love ice cream. But as the days passed, everything felt hollow. As if there was a hole in my heart. I thought it was just another normal day. I wasn't expecting the moment it changed. I couldn't believe my eyes. 
I didn't think such a beautiful sight existed in this world. My god, the feelings that hit me. I'd never felt anything like that before. That was when I realized this, this had to be a miracle. Hmm. Mira entered my life. She was an angel that looked like a customer. Uh, shouldn't it be the other way? Details aren't important. You look like you don't understand. <laughs> well, I don't blame you. I didn't get it either. Mira was just such a vivacious vision of beauty. I was just a lowly ice cream shop employee. And next to that, there was no way I would be a good match. But then Mira... Cut it out. Me, an angel? <laughs> you gotta be kidding. Yeah, really. But it's true. You have to be. You really are an angel to me, Mira. completely different person now, Eric. I wish. I wish he was. Earlier, you were being... Your face was pretty scary. Did I frighten you that much? Yeah. Oh. Gosh. I'm so sorry. Oh, wow. Uh, it's okay. You were probably just rattled about what's happened to us. I could tell you were a nice person under all that. <laughs> what are you... You're an odd duck. <laughs> Looks like you've gone back to your dopey expression again. I guess you've calmed down, huh? Dopey? Man, you're really harsh, Mira. But yeah, I'm okay now. That's right, I'm fine. I can definitely smile no matter what. I'm really not sure... I want to know now. Hmm. I wonder why Zero decided to lock us up in here anyway. Right. Seems like too much effort for it to be just a joke. A lot of money was pumped into this whole thing. Maybe all of this is supposed to be part of the GCOM experiment? They wanted to investigate how a closed space affected change on emotions, right? But then why did they want normal people like us to apply? Wouldn't you want people in helpful professions to go to Mars? Like military officials, researchers, other skilled professionals like that. Maybe the reason they chose civilian subjects is... because they're planning to send those kinds of people to Mars in the future. Hmm, that sounds right. Strangers living together on Mars for an extended period of time? What kind of problems would that bring? How would the subjects figure out solutions to the resulting troublesome situations? According to the DCOM staff, that's what the experiment was trying to determine. Like the chair-bound old man. He put us in a difficult position on purpose. To observe how we'd get out. The sponsor is a civilian organization that hopes to expand business worldwide. Maybe they expect to be part of a colonization of Mars in the future. Colonizing Mars? Hmm. Hey, have you ever heard this before? If you want to transport live koi from Brazil to Japan, putting only koi fish in an aquarium will result in most of them dying. By adding something to that same container, you won't lose a single one. Oh, what is it? A piranha. A piranha. But how does that even work? I guess their self-preservation instincts kick in. I get it. Fish become so afraid of the piranha that they make an effort to live. That nervous state becomes the power to keep them alive. Uh-huh. In order to survive, you need that sense of urgency. Uh, I see. So, for an actual Mars mission, It'd be a good idea to have a murderer on the crew, huh? Mm. Kidding! About, about <laughs> that. About that. Eric, don't say scary things like that. Oh. So maybe all this stuff is something similar. Living quietly in DCOM becomes boring. 
so the emotional state will fade. If you intentionally inject a sense of emergency... A little late, perhaps, but I will now announce the voting results. Yay! All three groups have voted for different teams. Four, none, and many to be one. The current death count, zero. I can't say this is an ideal situation for any of us involved. It appears that none of you fully grasp the essence of this game. Think back on the rules you were told. You will remain in the shelter for eternity until six people are killed. Okay, well, I get that. One last chance. Okay. A single action from you may result in your escape from the depths. What must you do? It's simple. I shall show you. And here we go with what happened last time. Oh, lordy. The other two teams are listening to a message just like this one. In their ward's decontamination room. What? The construction of all of them are the same. A yellow button exists on the wall of each. Pressing it activates the showers in the other wards, and they will solution of nitrogen fluoride. No! It's not only acidic enough to melt a body, but it even dissolves glass and iron. Explaining what would happen if you were under it seems unnecessary. That button on the wall is your way to freedom. Using it will kill the other teams, and you will obtain the needed X-passes to escape. I have one final thing to tell you. The early bird gets the worm. After the first team pushes it, the button will become inactive for both of the other teams. Your time limit is three minutes. What will you do? Will you press it or refuse? It is ultimately all up to you to decide. Oh! We gotta hurry or we'll die! Uh, don't worry. We need to trust the others. The others, you say? What the hell do you know? <laughs> hey, stop! <laughs> Where did the nice Eric go? Shut the hell up, you fucking brat! W why Eric? Ah! <laughs> <gasps> Mira! <laughs> At least he's quiet now. I'll leave the rest of this up to you. Wow. Huh? It'll be interesting to see how you handle this. Um. What? Okay. Well, we're gonna do what we did last time and not push the button right away. And then we'll come back and do the next. Because it's probably gonna be like, oh, we won't know what happened. And then you'll die. That was my really, really weird voice, by the way. Anyways, choice is made. Seems like the other teams didn't press it either. I... I am so glad. Are we... safe? Who really knows? Mira? <laughs> what? Watch where you're staring! It seems there may be a misunderstanding, so I shall clear it up for you. I never said the showers would activate as soon as the button was pressed. Which means... You've yet to learn whether the button has been activated by someone or not. Yay! What? Then... We'll have to wake up to find out if we're alive or not. Now, it's time for you to sleep. When next you wake, know that you will have no memory of these past nine minutes. Pleasant dreams. No! No! <laughs> GG, Eric. GG.
Okie dokie. Let's go back to that and try the other way! Because killing people is fun, friends. Fun for the whole family, except for that one family that died. Or those two families that died. Or anyone Mira killed. Anyways. <laughs> press the button, press the button, press it. I did it, guys. I'm a murderer. Hmm. This water's good, by the way. Uh, what happened? I. I. I see. Interesting. Did you push the button? Does this mean we're going to be saved? But then... The others will... You... You killed them! Eric! The team and the team you were... Gonna... You just were no, about... we did. Oh my god. We had to do this so we could survive. There was no way around it. But... It's not my fault! I told you from the start not to push it! Oh my god. What? What are you talking about? It was obvious you were planning on pressing it. It was. You're the one who actually did. Yeah, but you were gonna. Oh, With your hand, Eric. You pushed it. You made a wise decision. You sacrificed the lives of others in order to continue your own survival. Zero. It truly is a natural human reaction. You simply made an emergency evacuation. The action is legally justified. There is no blame to be placed on you for your decision. Now, I'm sure you would like to get out of here immediately. But before that, I apologize. But you must all sleep again. Why? 1929. You have done exactly as I commanded. Yay! No, no, I didn't do it. He's the one who pushed it, so he's... It would be inconvenient if you forgot you caused the deaths of others. But I already told you, I, I didn't kill anybody. You were going to do it anyways. I was watching. Dad, <sighs> I was just watching. No, Chris didn't do anything wrong. I was the one who... Please, forgive him, Dad. Cold. It's cold. The water was so... so cold. Pleasant dreams. Mom! Well. That worked out well. I like the part where, you know, <laughs> Eric went insane again. Good lord. All right, now I think we have to go to Q Team and see the ending here, so. What? What? Hi, Gab? Why are you chained up, buddy? And my buddy, my pal. Oh, good, we get to see them all die. Fantastic. Uh, uh, where are we? I think it's the decontamination room. Decontamination? Uh, I think we've been... Trapped in this room before. Is it just deja vu? Uh, I have a bad feeling about this. So do I. Wait, this button. It's the same for you, Carlos? You feel it as well? Yeah, not just her. I sense it too. Somehow, this button is very important. Well, important for Q team, not so much for you guys. Uh, maybe we lost our memories of it. The drugs. In the bracelets. Then, what in the world? Wow. 
Well, that was terrifying. Ah, Jesus. Yeah, I really don't like him showing this at all. Kind of disgusting. But there you go, that's all that's left of him. Mm. Mm. Beautiful. And terrifying. This is... The lounge? Uh, what happened in the decontamination room? It would be inconvenient if you forgot the cause of the deaths of others. That's right. I... That button. Now announcing the current casualties. C team, Carlos, Akane, Junpei, D team, Diana, Phi, Sigma. These six are now deceased. As a result, six X passes will be revealed. Dream, Key, Quark, Mom, Deer, R. That is all. It's a lie! Everyone, everyone! Uh, uh, yeah! Eric. Oh no, I... What have I done? No need to blame yourself. All you did was make the right choice. <laughs> but... Forget about it. We need to focus on what's next. Uh... We have six passwords. So can't we leave? I... Uh, overreacted a, a bit. But you know, maybe it's... It's better this way. What I mean is... I... I know we're all in danger from this game. But instead of being forced kill each other it's just a vote and a press of a button yeah plus we're just put to sleep after so to suddenly learn the whole thing is over wait what if it's not just that the amnesia drugs in the bracelets maybe we didn't get injected this time but what if Every time we wake up, we have to go through the same scenario over and over again. And we're put to sleep after each one. Our memories of it, gone. Give it up. We don't need to talk about this. Let's just get out of here. He's right. Let's... Wait! Are we forgetting someone? What? Oh, okay. I was like, oh, what? Who? Oh, and then it's like, oh, yeah, the dog. God damn it. <sighs> Why is he chained up? That's so mean. Why in the... Let's see if we can get it off. Hey, about before, you were saying we're repeating our actions with no memories. It's like the Sleeping Beauty problem. The Sleeping Beauty what? It's one of the famous paradoxes. The experiment starts on a Sunday. The subject is put to sleep, and then a coin is flipped. If it's heads, the subject is woken up on Monday, asked a question, and put to sleep again. And that's it. That's all they do for heads. And if it's tails? They're woken up on Monday, 
asked a question, and put to sleep. But that's just the same as heads. To that point, it is. But it's different after that. After the subject falls asleep again, their memories from Monday are erased. They are then asked the same question again on Tuesday. What's the question? What was the probability it was heads? That's it? Yep, that's it. Hey, how is that a problem then? It's obvious. There's a 50-50 chance of it being heads. You'd think so, normally. Uh, but when you're being asked it, there are three positions you could be in. The coin was heads. It is Monday. The coin was tails. It is Monday. And the coin was tails. It is Tuesday. That would make the probability of it being heads as one in three, right? No. I don't think so. It's a coin, so it'll always be 50-50 odds no matter what. Okay, let's change some things. If heads appears, it's the same as before. But if it's tails, it ends up repeating 10,000 times. 10,000? Wake, question, sleep, memory erased. Wake, question, sleep, memory erased. Go through this 10,000 times. Does the probability still stay as 50 50 after all that? Uh, uh, huh. Thinking about it, wouldn't the chances of it being tails be higher than heads? If you put it that way, yeah. So, w which one is correct? No one knows. They don't have an answer yet. Even the scientists can't decide between one in two and one in three. It's an unsolved problem. Huh. <laughs> you know uh, a lot about this. I read a random book on it once. Well, it was on metempsychosis, but they deal with basically the same thing. Met him psychosis? What is it? Wouldn't waking up without your memories be just like being reborn? Oh, yeah, that sounds similar. Uh, huh. I I'm not really sure. You don't believe in it? I meant there's no real meaning. Because when you're reborn, all the memories you had during your past life are already gone, right? Well, that means metempsychosis isn't really needed. If there's no memories, there's no point? Well, no one can perfectly remember things that happened when you were a kid. Hell, sometimes you can't even remember something from a month ago. So... Going by what you said, everything you did before a month ago has no meaning? Uh, uh, huh. She's asking if memories really are that important for making you who you are. What is important then? Well, something must be. Well, it looks like we can't do anymore. We're gonna have to give up here. I'm sorry. I'm really, really sorry. No way around it. We did everything we could. Come on, let's go. Hmm. Goodbye, Gab. You were the best. He was number one. Sorry, I had to do that. Anyways. Are you ready? Maybe. Yeah.
go ahead. Oh god, I don't remember the freaking Jesus, it's buried back all the way back there. Ugh. Dream key quark mom deer arm. Dream key quark mom deer arm. Dream key. Uh, I'm just gonna go with what I know. And what I know is not very much considering. God damn. Dream key quark. Oh my god, I forgot the other one. My memory is such crap at times, I swear to god. Uh, key, that was the one I was missing. I knew it was another three-letter one. Key. Yes! It opened! Okay, let's go. Hey, what's wrong? What are you doing? I... I... can't go. Huh? I can't leave him behind. I'm sorry. You're really gonna just not do that because- oh my god. I decided that I'd stay here too. I wonder why. Maybe it's because I don't have memories? I know nothing about the outside world, so I guess I didn't really want to leave. Did I make the right choice? Or was it the wrong one? Yeah. <laughs> That must be it. Hmm. Okay, then. Game over. I don't know if I would call it a game over. I mean, okay. Uh, this one. Good lord, we're probably at 11 hours now. Yep. Ah, lordy. Did that unlock anything over here at all? Nope, it did not. Q is basically done. D has the same sort of thing. So I guess we'll go into C. I mean, I mean not C. D's decontamination room. And then we'll end the episode, but after that, there won't be a pull on this episode. Instead, we're going to dive right into the next C chapter. That will be an episode coming after this one. Hopefully, pretty soon after. Damn. So that's right, a third episode, guys. And then we'll Does have a poll again. It's locked? Yeah, seems that way. So that means we're trapped, huh? Where are we? The decontamination room. That's how it's labeled on the map. There are showers in here? You need to wash all contaminants off after you return from outside. Well, in the case of nuclear war, of course. Which means there are two exits heading to the surface. Here, and the X door in the lounge. You're right. It looks like there's a hall to an elevator outside. I don't see how they're connected on the map, but it must be there. Okay. Then let's escape through that door. How exactly do you propose that... Looks like it's been welded shut. Maybe it'll open if we push that yellow button over there. Do you not just hear that it's welded shut? Then what exactly is it for? Should we try pushing it? Yeah. It's really suspect. Better 
1809. Right. 1809. The anesthetic was injected after the vote, around... 1330. So we've been asleep for almost four and a half hours. Um, that might not be true. Right. Zero did say. Once 90 minutes are up, an injector in your bracelet will activate. An anesthetic and an agent to erase your memories will be administered. Means we could have woken up and fallen asleep several times since then. But we just don't remember any of it. I wonder what the results of the voting are. It's highly unlikely that C Team was able to survive. Why? You even have to ask? Diana voted against the plan on the note and chose C Team. Whoa, wait, hold up. What are you saying? I thought Diana voted for Q Team. Isn't that right? I'm sorry. I. Well, I. I don't really remember. What? How is that possible? How could you forget? After the vote at 1330, he told us we wouldn't be injected with the amnesia meds. Right, I remember it exactly. Diana had chosen to vote for Q Team. No! I know for sure that she definitely voted for C Team. Nonsense, you must be out of it. You're the one out of it, you senile old fart. Wow. No. Wait. Don't tell me. Jumped? Hmm. Oh dear. What Sigma was going on about back in DCOM? Well, it's all true. Oh, when he Whoa. was saying mankind would be destroyed. What? What did he mean exactly? Do you mind explaining? Even if I'm right. dead. One I second, hold a sec, guys. Just g give me one second. I need to check something. Okay, hello, guys. We're back. Um, the recording software jumped up and said high CPU usage, so I thought maybe that was what caused like the freezing from a few episodes ago. Hopefully not. So it went away really, really quick. But I just wanted to make sure. So, but footage is fine. We're going back. It's highly likely you won't even understand. You see. The things Sigma and I have been through are, um, complicated and mysterious. Does that mean your consciousness came from the future? 2074? Yes, but that's not exactly right. Sigma and I both originated from the current world of 2028. Our consciousnesses were sparked by a specific event into jumping forward to 2074. We returned to April 2029, where we lived 45 years normally through time. In January 2074, our two consciousnesses were booted to the past again, and essentially ended up at this point in time, Christmas of 2028. <laughs> See, you don't understand, do you? It doesn't have to make sense. You only need to believe us. About what happens in the future? Correct. I have to know then. Why was mankind destroyed? It's not exactly destroyed. It isn't as if there aren't any survivors left. But a large number are... Yes, the dead number, six billion. It's all because of Radical Six. A horrific virus that affects the human brain. It spread quickly worldwide, and humanity began heading to extinction. The location the virus originated at was the experimental facility, DECOM. That was what we were told, anyway. Hmm. Some of the information appears to be incorrect, though. How so? This is just a guess, but... I think Radical 6 wasn't leaked from DECOM. I've got a feeling it came from the shelter instead. We 
Regardless, back then we believed it all started at DCOM. So we infiltrated the facility as subjects to prevent the release of the virus. With Akane's help. Akane? She's the leader of a secret group called Crash Keys that wants to save the world. Using the organization's assets, we hacked the admin server and altered the original subject list and data. I... I see. I mean, it all seems so fake. I can hardly keep up with all of it. We're not lying. It's true. All right, then. I'd like to go back for a second. Fi, you said you jumped earlier, right? Yeah. Does that mean... Nope, oh, you're going to interrupt us. Great. I will now announce the voting results. All three groups have voted for different teams. Yay, we're all very good people. Oh. We did it, guys. We're good. I'm so glad. I can't say this is an ideal situation for many of us at all. Ow. Oh. It appears that none of you fully grasp the essence of this game. Oh. Think back on the rules you were told. You will remain in the shelter for eternity until six people are killed. I will give you one last chance. A single action from you may result in your escape from the deaths. What must you do? It's simple. I shall show. Press the button, kill people. Yay! The other two teams are listening to a message just like this one. In their ward's decontamination room. That can't be. The construction of all of them are the same. A yellow button exists on the wall in each. Pressing it activates the showers in the other wards, and they will rain down the solution of hydrogen fluoride. What? Hydrofluoric acid? It's not only acidic enough to melt a body, but it even dissolves glass and iron. Yay! Explain what would happen if you were under it seems unnecessary. Welcome back to this episode of Breaking Bad. Using it will kill the other teams, and you will obtain the needed X passes to escape. I have one final thing to tell you. The early bird gets the word. After the first team pushes it, But I wanna. I wonder if I's gonna jump on that and be like, press it. Wait, don't! I'm doing it to protect you two. What? Wow. It's not to escape. Of course I don't want to kill the other teams. But if we don't act, we're the ones who die. It's not for certain. No one pushes it before three minutes are up. But if we wait, all three teams will be killed. The acid will melt even our bones, and all that's left will wash down the train. Is that how you want to reunite? To hug and cry together in the train? By then, we wouldn't even be able to see or hold them. Wait, wait, Sigma! Please calm down! How could I possibly do that? Someone on another team could be pushing the button right now as we speak. Just listen, please! Zero did say that we had three minutes, but he never said what would happen once the time limit ended. She's right. Three minutes is just a space of time. There's still a chance nothing will happen after the deadline is over. It must mean that we're being tested to see how much we all trust. Please believe, Sigma. Trust the other teams. Gonna write this down real quick. One second. I'm drawing a bunny. Oh wait, we have a decision to do. Oh, fuck it. I don't give a crap. I'm gonna keep drawing my bunny. Mm. Mm, those are some good ears. Oh man, it's beautiful, beautiful. 
Oh, all right. There's a button to press. I... And we're all living in a yellow submarine. Or something like that. Nothing's happening. Yeah. See? I told you, didn't I? None of the others pushed the button. So that's proof that the other teams can be trusted to cooperate. Who wants to see my bunny? Pretty cute. Good night, sleep tight, don't let the bed bugs bite. I think there's a game over, right, or just an end of the fragment. Okay, don't get in. We're gonna... Is that a new one? Pretty sure that's a new one. That, that What the hell? Okay, well, that's new. Um, We'll come back to that in a second. We're going to go and uh, just, you know... Press this button and then pretty sure that was a new fragment that opened up. Anyways. There you go, Diana. Do what you you need to do. While I continue to finish off this bunny oh man, those whiskers. Ah. Diana, what did you just... Are you kidding me? You just finished begging me to trust the others. What the hell was all that for? Answer me, Diana! I, I don't know. I don't know why I pushed the button. Not again. What do you mean? Our vote back at 1330? Diana chose C-Team instead of going along with what was on the note. I asked her why, and she said the same thing as now. I don't know. That's ridiculous. I don't know about that. I know. What? I'm saying, I know what you don't know. My thought earlier, that we probably... You made a wise decision. You sacrificed the lives of others in order to continue. Yay! That's all I gotta say. I'm just gonna repeat that. Pop goes the weasel. Sorry, I'm, I'm. Anyways, this is a dialogue we've all heard before. That isn't though. How did this happen? Oh man, sounds like the ice cream truck's little musical jingle is dying out. It's not a good thing at all. Well. We only have D-Team unless there's something else here. Nope. Let's go take a look. It's in a book. Reading something or other. Anyways. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're all gonna wake up and get destroyed. Ugh. Are we? I 
think it's the decontamination room. Decontamination? Huh. This is weird. Weird? I feel like I've been trapped in this room before. You must be imagining things. I guess. Hey, look, a button. What a magical hey, button. This button. Just like my Makes bunny's little button you nose. You feel it as well? Yeah, not just her. I sense it too. Somehow, this button is very important. Mm-hmm. Maybe we've forgotten about this <laughs> I just don't. I mean, this is the same dialogue we've seen before. What? <sighs> we've just seen it from different perspectives mixed in with other ones. Now they're all gonna die a terrible death because this is just brutal as hell. My question if is it if it melts through iron and things like that, even steel, at least that's what I think he said, maybe just iron. I guess maybe the pipes wouldn't be made of iron, but who knows? Who knows? They're all dead. But now my precious little bunny. Oh man. Who wants to name it in the comments? Feel free to suggest names for my bunny. It's really stupid. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. Hey, look what time it is. It's after midnight. So it's the next day? Not just day, but year. It's 2029 now. What a horrible start to the year. Now announcing the current casualties. CT, Carlos, Akane, Junpei, QT, Q, Mira, Eric. Forgive him! No! Diana, tell me one more time. You didn't choose to push it, did you? The button in the decontamination room. No. For a split second, it was as if... It was as if someone had taken control of my body. Has this ever happened to you before? Then maybe you hit your head somewhere. I don't think so. That I can remember, anyway. What are you trying to say, Fi? Well, I thought it might be possible it was... Alien hand syndrome. What? what? Alien hand? It happens very rarely when the corpus callosum, where the right and left hemispheres connect, is abnormal. Remember, the right brain controls the left side, and the left controls the right. So if the communication paths that connect them are damaged, the left and right sides of your body may fall out of sync. Like trying to put a shirt on with your right hand, but taking it off with your left. Grabbing onto a scalding pan with your right hand while your left tries to make it let go. Or something even stranger, when your right hand attempts to suffocate you. Does that happen? So you use your left to restrain it. I've heard of cases where it's happened. An interesting development arises with that story. Where does a human's consciousness exist? Is it in the left brain or the right? When your right hand's choking you and your left's trying to stop it, 
That would imply that the part of you that doesn't want to die is in the right brain. But what if, in the left brain, there's another part of you buried inside that does want to die? So, if you ever ask that person, do you want to live or die? If the center for speech is located in the right brain, he'd clearly say, Of course, I want to live. But what if it's the reverse? If the center for speech is in the left brain, then I'm sure he'd say, Hurry up and kill me. There's no way to know which one is the true self. Or, perhaps, it's more like they both are. It's just simply that the one who has the power of speech is more dominant. Have you ever considered... What if your body was split into left and right? In that moment, where would your consciousness go? Left or right? Hey, bye. What are you getting at with this? The alien mouth syndrome. My mouth speaks for itself, regardless of what I want it to do. How... how can you be joking around at a time like this? No, it's because we're in the situation that I brought it up. Well, like you said, it doesn't feel real. Hearing the announcement, or reading on the board... You think those six might still be alive? Let's keep believing. There's no point. The six of them are, are definitely dead. How do you know? Well... I don't know. Okay then. Well... I guess we should probably try to leave. You alright, Gab? This guy doesn't know anything, does he? It's a dog. He's lucky. Well, we may as well get going. Like Sigma said earlier, we shouldn't lose hope. Let's have faith that they're still alive. Besides, that is even more of a reason that we must keep going. So we can go and bring back a rescue team? Exactly. Oh, right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> no, that's the float chart, not what I wanted. Log, thank you. I'm dumb. Uh, what were the codes again? Shift, six, ring, age, heart, love. Okay. I believe that's right. Uh, one more look at this, because I'm really terrible at remembering things. Shift, six, ring, age, heart, love. Okay, those are good. Wow, Diana actually went along this time. Didn't stop like, uh, Q or... or Carlos did. I'm... not going. Never mind. Huh? Hey, Diana!
wonderful acting. It's an excellent strategy. Your actions in the decontamination room. I'm surprised you thought of it so fast. At that moment, all you wanted was to get out quickly. To make that a reality, it just happened that the fastest way was to touch a yellow button and kill the other six participants. However, pressing the button just like that would make you a murderer. After. In a court of law, what you did would be considered bad by judge and jury. So you thought, how could I make this not as bad for me? What you came up with was oh so simple. You simply needed multiple personalities. What? No! But how do we bring up the topic of multiple personalities? No one will believe you. The only way to make you believe that was to do something unbeneficial to you. And that is why you refused to do We both know that fire will bring the rescue team back to the shelter. You saw all of that in advance. Let us meet again somewhere. Stop at Mata Dolorosa. I will be awaiting that moment. Okay, then. That was bizarre. <laughs> Uh, this one. I wonder, did any of the other teams? Yes, the other teams got new fragments as well, I, th I assume. Yep, they all involve the boxes. But, we'll save that for another time. There will be no poll this episode. Instead, I'm going to go straight into recording the next episode, and we'll have a third episode up, and that will focus on C-Team, just so we're clear. And then we'll go back to polling for the next. See you guys soon. Thanks for watching.